Hey everyone! For those of you that follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you already know that I placed a pretty decent sized order with Sleek Cosmetics. Uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter, shame on you. Um, both are free to set up an account. It's easier to set up even than a YouTube account. So go open up my description box and get to it. But in the meantime, um, I did place an order from Sleek Cosmetics. I placed the order on a Sunday afternoon. Obviously, it was in the middle of the night, British time. I got a confirmation on Monday that... Um, shipment notice on Tuesday and it arrived at my house on Saturday. The f uh, Long day guys, sorry. Anyway, it couldn't have been easier and frankly it got here faster than the order that I just placed with Barney's which is in New York. Much, much closer. So there you go. For those of you who want to order, all the information is below but it's sleekcosmetics.com is the website and it's $10 flat rate shipping so just to make it worth your while, buy a bunch of stuff. This stuff is pretty inexpensive. I'm hesitant to quote prices because I've already forgotten, but I'll give roundabouts if that will help. And then I will tell you this, I purchased seven items plus one free gift. Shipping was $10 and the whole order I believe was $58. So for less than the price of the new Chanel foundation, I got eight things. What else to tell you? Oh. Some people mentioned that they thought they needed an international telephone number. It is a little confusing, especially for us Americans who are not used to dialing overseas. All that means is you have to enter your country code. So I believe the United States is 44 and then your area code and then your phone number. But to be sure, just Google international calling international phone number and it'll, it'll tell you how to do that. Okay, so here's the important stuff. What did I get? I'm gonna start with the lip products because I don't have any on right now. And also, excuse my eye makeup, it looked really good at the beginning of the day, but I got my eyes checked today and they did the drops and in and out of the contacts. And good news is my eyes improved a quarter of a point in both eyes. Yay! Bad news, that is a result of aging. Apparently, I am traveling from nearsighted to farsighted. So as I travel, I get a little better and then, okay. So one of the things they ordered was, and I haven't even taken all the packaging off, this is their pout paint, and uh, the one I really wanted, I believe they were sold out of, but I got this one called Minx, and it is number 161, and as always, this will be listed in the description box. Uh, sorry, I just got a tweet from Jess, Lola Marie 7. Hi Jess. She's Lola Marie 8 on Twitter though. Okay, so this, I have been told, is very similar to the OCC Lip Tar. I would not know that since I have not actually purchased it. It does say to apply the tiny strap of pout paint to your lip brush for complete coverage. Hmm. I have a lip brush somewhere. I have to admit, I've tried this once already today. I just couldn't, I couldn't help myself. And I did use my finger. But because I am planning on swatching quite a bit with my finger... I'm going to use the um, detailer brush from my Real Techniques and basically just squeeze the tiniest like that. I've been told a little goes a long way. It has a nice scent. Mm. Oh wait, she's giving me directions on how to cut my hair. I am so excited. If you can't get Jess to come down and cut your hair, get her to tell you how to cut your hair. Second best thing. Okay. So, this is Minx. It has a faint sweet odor to it. Slightly reminiscent of the NYX lip glosses, not nearly as strong. It's definitely kind of a matte, satin matte finish. It's a little drying on the lips, but not terrible. I can't tell you about longevity since I just put, well, you know what, I can a little. I put some on earlier this afternoon and it did last a pretty long time. So that's pout polish, pout paint, pout paint. Then I got the sleek, it's all sleek. I got the pout polish SPF 15 in peach perfection. This was the one they were sold out of in the color that I wanted. That's it. And it's just a pot. 
And I've not been a fan of where you have to dip your finger in the pot, but for this I will make an exception. It's very creamy, kind of salmony pink. It's a warm pink. And the consistency is very reminiscent of finger paint. And it smells divine. And it just, it feels really moisturizing on the lips. I love this stuff. And I did try this out. These are the two products I've tried. I, I swatched one other thing, but these are the two of the products that I've tried. And uh, I will say that the scent, if you're not a fan of scent, you're not gonna like this stuff, but oh, it smells kind of like brown sugar, I, I wanna say. And the scent does linger. It wafts up to your nose for quite a while, which is, it's actually, it's a nice, it's not overpowering, but it's very, it's, it's a nice smell. Okay, onto the stuff I'm really excited about. I picked up two blushes, one in rose gold, and they have come in these sleek little makeup pack, little makeup boxes, these little matte black packaging. And oh, this color. This isn't gonna do it justice. It doesn't look like much, to be honest, in the pan. And for comparison's sake, here's my nasty NARS. Not that NARS is nasty, but this stuff does get filthy. This is compared to Orgasm. There's no comparison. Orgasm is very much a deeper, pinker undertone. This is very much true to a rosy, gold, peachy finish. I know I always said I was gonna compare with crayons, but this is, almost everyone can get their hands on Orgasm. Insert tacky joke, okay. So this is rose gold, this is Orgasm. One more frame of reference. I'm trying to find something that everybody is familiar with. Um, a lot of people say that the um, blush and the gold in the e.l.f. palette is similar to Orgasm. So there it is. This is still a little bit lighter. So the sleek rose gold has a ton of shimmer in it. If you don't like shimmer, you're going to hate this. I personally love it. I mean, that's packed on with one swatch. It blends quite nicely. I'm going to pop on a spot of color. I feel like I should do this whole video with a really bad English accent. Why really bad? Because that's the only English accent that I can do. So, I'm just kind of dabbing it on. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. like it. I quite like it, as they say over there. Okay, then I also got the Nude Collection Suede. The packaging is a little different because it's limited edition. And this is part of their Nude Collection, like I said. And this is a very matte, very warm, no shimmer, orangey brown suede color. Doesn't look like much on my finger. And it's definitely a brownie, not brown. It's, it's very ruddy, orangey, but it blends out very nicely. It feels a little powdery. And compared to the rose gold right here next to it, this is hell on a manicure. Rose gold, suede. Definitely the same color families here. I'm really digging this. I think this, I'm um, just thinking out loud that this color, sorry I'm blinding you, this color I would be happy with using um, like my contour brush and using this in lieu of a contour and just kind of going up the cheekbone. I think this would be, this suede would be a good choice for that. My next thing I'm really excited about, I've seen this featured a lot in the Pixie Boo videos. I'm sure I've seen it in other videos, but this is the first place I ever saw it, is the face contour kit. And again, cute little packaging, and it came with this lovely little pamphlet showing some serious contouring there. Really though, if you're a professional model, do you need contouring? No, you're born with that face. Okay, anyway. It says, uh, contouring and highlighting are professional tricks that makeup artists use to enhance one's features and make them look their best, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 
suitable for all skin tones. This comes in light, medium, and dark. I picked light for obvious reasons. There is a little thing in here on cheek contouring and a little thing on nose contouring. And for those of you that would prefer to read it in French, it is here, you see. So, I'm not even gonna pretend to pronounce this. Find the hollow of the cheek, which is directly under the cheekbones. Sweep the pressed powder with a brush and lightly tap off excess powder. Blend the color in a back and forth motion from the hairline to the cheeks, creating a shadow and then blend to diffuse any harsh lines. Okay, whatever. Order it and you can read it. And it also has a couple other little, little things you can pick up. And then this is the kit. And I did play with the highlighter in the car. I've not touched the contour yet. The contour is very reminiscent of suede. Hmm. Hold on, let me get that out so I can show you both. Mm -hmm. A little different. Okay, I love they come with these lovely mirrors. So when you're traveling, like in a hotel or something, it's a great thing to touch up. So this is the highlight, of course, and that's the contour. And the highlight color looks chalky, but oh, I played with it in the car. It is so pretty. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques contour brush. I feel like I'm using all my British stuff. So fun. And I'm just gonna brush that on my cheekbones. It's a really subtle, it's really subtle. I mean, I don't know how well it's coming up on camera. Let me do a little down the bridge of my nose. A little on my cupid's bow, which is tough since I've already put on. And there. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, <laughs> but it, it, it's a really pretty color. And then the, the um, contour shade, oh, it's very soft and velvety, is a much deeper, I'm a little scared to use it. Here we go, girls. So, tapping it in, sucking in the cheeks. Obviously, I'm doing this backwards. You would do your contouring first, and then your blush, and then your highlighter. Isn't that attractive? Yeah. So you get the general idea. Basically what I'm seeing here is that it's really hard to mess up with this light shade, which is kind of what I need. Now I'm aware I have under eye circles too. Do I suddenly look more chill chiseled, more polished? More high fashion? No. This is pretty neat and I am gonna have a lot of fun playing with it. Okay, now the exciting part. Oh, I had a free lips gloss, which I don't love. It's a little keychain one, which I'm like 25 years too old to have a lip gloss on my keychain, but this is in the color In Your Dreams and it's just teeny tiny, little, has a doe foot applicator. And uh, this is another one I tried on the car. Didn't love it, it's okay, it's nice. It's free. Free is always easier to like, isn't it? Okay. Now, I am going to pause, go get, I'll be right back. I wanna be ready for the big reveal, hang on. Okay, in case you're wondering, I went to go get my eye makeup remover wipes because I have a lot of swatching to do. I'm not gonna put all this on, but you've got to see these. If you've never had a sleek palette, I think, I think the blushes were around six or seven dollars and I think the face contour kit was maybe 10 and I think these were 10 or 12. All very reasonable. There was nothing over $12, let's just put it that way. Okay, so I have two palettes. I have already have the Storm palette which I use all the time and I adore and um, I ordered the Nude collection on Naturel and I ordered the Bad Girl palette which I've already gotten dirty. Okay, so. They've changed things up a little bit since I bought mine, my Storm. What they haven't changed is they're bare to open. And what I do is take a tweezers and put it in there and just give it a twist. They do loosen up over time. Okay, they now come with this handy little sheet with the names on top. They still come with this really long wand, which I never use, but I always keep because I just think it's cool. It has a humongo mirror. And then it has, look at this. This is what I dreamt the Naked palette would be. This is what the Naked palette should have been 
for a hell of, I could get four naked, I can get four of these for the price of one naked palette, just saying. Okay, so the top, they're all, they appear to be all matte except for maybe three or four. There are 12 shadows here. And really quickly, I mean, the consistency of sleek eyeshadows is very unique. When you touch it, it almost feels like a cream, but they're powder. They're just, they're mineral eyeshadows and they're so literally creamy that you feel like you're touching cream. So I'm gonna just go the top, top six real quickly. That one, it's not all that exciting. This one. You can't see. Okay, hang on. I'm going to do it on my hand. This one is a little harder to see. It's right there. I think if you put it on your eye, on top of primer, it would be very easy to see. There's that one there. Color payoff, I think it will be better on my eyeball. There. This one is almost like a melony brown. Reminds me of cork. These are not doing it justice. My, my pitiful swatches. That's that one. Now the bottom row are obviously darker and are going to be a lot easier to see. And I'm barely touching them. This is a really pretty deep metallic brown. And this is more of an olive. This one right next to it. This seems to be a matte, might I say like a Swiss chocolate? I'm not all that familiar with the MAC stuff, so. This one is a metallic or a shimmer brown, which I don't really have a deep, this is pretty cool. I don't have a deep brown like that. It has shimmer to it, that's really pretty. And last but not least, There's this has some purple undertones, bluish, reddish undertones. Not blue, purple. And then lastly, there's a really rich black, inky black. Deep, really deep. So that's the bottom half of the nudes. And the top ones, I know that they come off on camera as kind of dinky, but really, um, when you put it on your eye, they're beautiful. I can tell. I Oh, they better be. No, okay. I think they'll be fine. They'll be great for blending out and highlighting, and that's really what they're meant for. Okay, let me get all this stuff off of me, because wait do you see the next palette. And I don't know where I just put the names of all of them. Ah. Okay. They have names like Nougat and Nubuck, Cappuccino, Noir. Noir would be the black one. Okay. The next one I really like. I think I might like it more. I don't know how much I'm really going to use it. It's called Bad Girl. And it has names like Innocence and Gullible and Blade and Gunmetal and Obnoxious and Intoxicated. Kind of cool. And this looks like that. Seriously smoky eyes going on here. Uh, Noir is in here again. Uh, I'm not going to swatch all of them. I like this one. That is a really pretty silver. And right next to that is gunmetal. Those two will be fun to play with. And um, this drunk or intoxicated, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. And um, this purple, look at that. That is cool. And What's this one called? Rebel. It's another deep purple. I like that there's a lot of mattes in here. There's no glitter. There's no chunky. Um, envy. It's a deep green. It's so deep it's almost black. And then the last one is this really pretty peacock blue. I mean look at that blue. Holy. I don't know. What, I don't know. I think this would be really neat on the, on the lash line. Really precise. That's pretty cool. And then there's a couple of nice highlighters. There's a there's a a matte. Is it matte? Yeah, it's pretty chalky. Matte white and um, a pale beige. <laughs> I don't know. 
I hate I I hate to say champagne because it seems like any taupey pale goldy color ends up in the champagne family. But there you have it. Those are the bad girl swatches, which I've already gotten all over the packaging. So that's my experience with Sleek. I couldn't be more pleased. I cannot wait for tomorrow so I can play with my new makeup uh, a little more on a, on a clean face. And if you have any questions, I think I've shared my whole experience with you. I was very pleased. I will say the box was about yay big. Everything was very tightly packed and wrapped and pretty in a black sleek box, cardboard box, uh, and they sent it right to my house. Of course, I was not here to sign for it. It goes registered mail, so if you're not here to sign for it, then it goes to the post office and you have to pick it up. So I had to wait a couple of days. But it was well worth the wait. I'm very excited to play, and um, yes, there will be tutorials, but give me, give me a little while, girls. I need to play a little bit. So I hope that was helpful and informative. And if you have any sleek products that you love, please share with me what I need to pick up in my, uh, either in my next order or when I get to London in December. So um, I kind of wanted to, to, to order ahead of time and play a little bit to see what I really like so that I'll know what to pick up when I'm there. I can tell you one thing, I will be picking up the rest of every sleek palette they make, the eye palette for sure. I'd like to anyway. So that's that, and um, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.